What's going on guys, it's your boy V from Superline. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how to use our master mockup pack. We get a lot of texts and DMs every single day on where you can find this file, how to open the file, how to use the file. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving a brief overview of where you can find the file and how you can use it. This file is gonna be a great resource when you're in the design process for your clothing brand. Now let's hop into the computer and I'll show you guys where to get the mockup pack. Okay, so once you're on our website, superlinewholesale.com, you're going to head over to the supplies tab and then click on digital products. So here you're going to find a few different digital products that's going to help you in your clothing brand. But the one we're going to be talking about today is our master mock-up digital product. So this product is actually going to have mock-ups of all of these different products that you can see on the screen. And it's super easy to get. All you want to do is add it to your cart and purchase it. So it's actually zero dollars. It's free. Your cart isn't going to get charged anything for this. And this file actually includes the JPEG and PSD file for all of the mockups. OK, so after you add this to your cart and purchase it for free, you're going to get an email with the file to download. OK, now that you guys can see, I have the mockup zip folder downloaded. What I'm going to do is drag it to my desktop just because it's easier to find that way and just keep everything organized. Essentially, we have to send this in a zip folder because it's so big. So the only way to use the file is by unzipping it so you can access all of the mockups. So again, on Mac, all you wanna do is double click on the file and on Windows, you wanna right click and click unzip or extract all. Now, as you can see, I have the mockups folder open and we have a wide range of products that we can play around with and throw some designs on. So just for example purposes, I'm going to be messing around with the Shockware shirts mockups, but what I'm about to show you guys and how to use the file applies to all of these mockups. So I'm going to open this up and as you can see, I have the different types of Shockware shirts. And what you'll notice is all of these files actually have a JPEG file for all of the garments, but then we also have a PSD file. And the PSD file is actually going to be the most important, and this is what you're going to want to use to mock up designs on your garments. So I'm going to open up the Shockaware PSD file, and it's going to open up Photoshop. Now that we have Photoshop open, you can see we have these four folders, and within these folders, we're going to have the mock ups for all of the garments. So if you click to the left of the folder, you're going to be able to toggle it on so you can see it with that little eyeball. And I'm going to click the drop down arrow. And here within this folder, I can toggle on and off which mockups I want to see. So as you can see, I have the front and back of every single shirt. So when you're working with layers in Photoshop, just remember that if you see something like brightness and contrast, if you turn it on, it's going to apply to all of the layers below it. So as you can see, the shirt looks a lot better. This is with the brightness and contrast off. This is with it on. As you can see, we have every single Shockerware shirt color that we carry, and we also have the different types of shirts. And this PSD file exists for every single garment within the mock-up pack. So as I was saying earlier, it's super tedious to make this because we had to take pictures of every single garment. We had to add effects to make sure they look good in Photoshop. And we did all of this so you guys could cook up designs easier for your brand. Uh, we know how hard and tedious it is to make stuff like this. So we thought if we were making this for ourselves, we might as well give it away and help you guys cook up designs. So I'm not going to go through all of these and show you each individual color front and back. I think you guys get the idea. And the same applies for the other products. You're going to want to open up the PSD file. You're going to want to toggle on the layers you want to see. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward. For example purposes, I'm going to whip up a shirt design right now. So now I'm going to mock up a design on a black shock tee as an example, just to give you guys an idea of how it works. So we're going to go to our design file that E cooked up last night. And this design is pretty funny. I like it. Now, when you have your design in Photoshop, it's really important that you remove the background layer. As you can see, E has this black layer right here. And if we were to export this and place this on a white shirt, I'll show you guys what it would look like. As y'all can see, this is not what we want. So when you're working with a lot of printers, they're going to want to make sure that the background for your design is transparent. This way, no matter what color shirt you're printing on, this way you're not printing out a black box behind your design. Even on a black tee, this might look like it works, but if you were holding this shirt in your hand and it was printed, you would be able to see that this all this black below the shirt is printed when it should just be transparent and be a part of the shirt, if that makes sense. 
So I'm gonna go and do this the correct way. So I'm gonna take his file, take away that background, and then I'm gonna hit file, export. And we're gonna export this as a PNG. As you can see, we have transparency checked. And that just means the file is gonna have a transparent background. So we're gonna export this. I'm gonna export it to my desktop, call it Kim K. Now I'm gonna come back over here. We're gonna drag the design file on here. Now this would be the correct way to do it. And then I can go ahead and export this and send it to my printer so I can do it the same way, file, export as. If you don't want a white background for some reason, you can just remove it here and then you'll have a transparent background or you can change it to whatever color you want. And now that the design is transparent, I can go ahead and put this on any shirt. So if I wanna put it on you know, this blue shirt here, boom, there we go. And just to give you guys an example of what happens when you don't use a transparent file, here I put the original PNG and as you can see we have that black box which just isn't right. But then if I turn it off and I put the correct file, you can see we can put this transparent file over any shirt that we want. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the mock-up pack. Like I said, we have a lot of different products in there you can use. These shockerware blanks were just an example of what you can do with it. If y'all could like, comment, subscribe, it would help us out a lot. You know we stay giving y'all free game.